You guys have been asking me for new 3D tutorials, so here I am today exposing the sauce. Oh my god! I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can add 3D elements to any of your videos using Element 3D and After Effects. If you guys don't have Element 3D, I'm also gonna be showing you guys a workaround that you can use on your videos. And just quickly, before we hop into this video, this video is sponsored by my editing packs. If you guys are looking for a super quick and easy way to level up your visuals, my website is the place to go. It supports this channel 100%. We have crazy drag and drop 3D packs that you guys can use that require no render time whatsoever. All these packs are super simple to use. Go check it out, guys. Let's hop right into the video. So today we're going to be using this Rich Amiri Ben Better music video. I shot this a few months ago in LA. We're going to be using Element 3D at first to add the 3D to our videos. Now to get started, we're going to go up to new, create a new solid right here, and we're going to call this flowers because that's what we're going to be adding. Once we have that new solid created, we're going to go up to effects and presets and search element. And then we're going to drag and drop that onto our new solid. All right, now once that's on there, we have this Element 3D tab just up here. We're going to click on scene setup and we're going to add our 3D object or model in here. So as you guys can see, we have this empty space. We're gonna go up here, right click and import 3D object. Now I'm gonna go over to where I have all of my models saved. I'll have a few links in the description on where you guys can get 3D models. And I also have a more in-depth video on it as well. I'm gonna leave the card up here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my red rose one, just like that. You're gonna go down to model center and I'm gonna do it from the bottom and then we're gonna hit okay. Now, as you guys can see, we have our rose here and it's very, very small. You can almost barely see it. To fix that, we're gonna go down to normalize size and hit that it's going to make it massive and if you guys do want to play around with the orientation of it in here you can mess around with these scales i'm just going to leave it just like that and as you can see it already has the texture on it i'm going to hit okay here and as you guys can see boom we have our rose in the video and it doesn't really match the video but we're going to go ahead and fix that today so i'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit of sauce so we're going to go ahead and open up photoshop here see how this rose is red and the roses in the video are white i'm going to teach you guys a quick workaround right now and how you guys can fix that so opening up photoshop here we're going to hit open and then we're going to go to where I have this model saved. So just under red rose here, we're going to open up this texture right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into hue and saturation. And I'm going to turn the saturation all the way down and turn the lightness up a little bit just so the textures are still in there. And then we can go ahead and add a brightness and contrast and turn that up, turn the contrast up, turn that up even more just so it's white. But we still have those little areas. I'm going to hit control alt S and we're going to save that as this, but we're going to put white beside it. So if you want to change the color of anything you're doing, just open up the texture in Photoshop or whatever photo editing program you have, save it. So now going back into After Effects and Scene Setup here, we're going to change that red to white. So going down to the diffuse right here, we can click on the rose and change it to white. Boom, just like that. As you guys can see, it is now white. It looks a little bit off. We're going to go ahead and fix that today. It doesn't really match the scene. I make this rose match a little bit more. We're going to go up and apply a lumetric color on it. We're going to mess with it just by closing this for now. We're going to go into basic correction and turning up the exposure here can really get it to light up and then playing with the highlights as well. And then the contrast a little bit. We just want to match it to the roses in the scene. So we have something like that for now. Can maybe go ahead and turn the saturation down a little bit just to have it match the roses there. And then maybe play with the temperature a little bit to make it a little bit warmer to match them two just like that and then maybe the highlights were a little much so we have a rose here now match the scene guys we're gonna go up and apply it in the position that we want so i'm gonna move it up to here move it to the right a little bit about there and then we'll add a little bit of rotation to it so have it leaning in and then to the side and then down a little bit and then going back to the beginning of our footage what you guys want to do is keyframe all these here and then also keyframing the position x and y at the beginning going to the very end what we could do is we can make the rows float up just like that and then adding a little bit of rotation to it so we'll have it rotate like that and then like that and then like that i think looks good so if we play that through, I'm just going to change it down a quarter so it doesn't lag. You guys can see the rose floats up just like that. So now if we want to match the rose to the scene a little bit more, as you can see, Amiri is in focus. So that means if the rose was actually floating in the scene, it's going to have to be blurred. So I recommend putting on camera blur. So if we just type in blur here, we can go down and throw on camera lens blur. I'm going to drag and drop that in here. Five does look good, but if you want to make it eight, you can do that as well. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And then if we go into noise as well, I recommend going and throwing on the noise right here and then you want to match to the noise in the scene so as you guys can see there's quite a bit of noise on there make sure the noise is below the camera lens blur and then we're just going to turn it up a tiny bit just to get a little bit of texture in there to match everything else maybe even like 1.5 percent boom that looks good there and then if you guys do want to duplicate and make multiple roses here we're going to close all of these down and then you can just duplicate this flower right here go to the beginning reset the rotations and positions move it to the side here and i recommend when you are moving them around just for now to turn off all these effects that makes it look pretty so you can turn those right back on after we're going to reset 
all of the rotations here and I'm just gonna make it a little bit different. So we'll do this one kind of like upside down on an angle like that and maybe rotate it that way. And we'll have this one start and be a lot bigger from up here. So we'll put that one there and turning back on the position X and Y and then all of our rotations here. What we could do is go to the, right back to the very end and then bring our rows up just like that. And then also we're gonna play with all of these here just to kind of add a little bit of motion to it. Just like so you guys can get a look like that as you can see it slowly goes up and then just going back in here we can turn all these on and since we do want to have the effect of this one is closer than the other rows we're going to go into camera lens blur and we can turn that up to something like 14. So as you guys can see it's a lot more blurred maybe even go for something like 20 if you really do want to you know add that look there now just to spice it up a little bit more we're going to be coloring it using my ultimate LUT pack if you guys want to go check it out it's linked below i'm going to show you guys the magic that it has right now we're going to go and make an adjustment layer and then we're going to apply a lumetri color just by dragging and dropping it on and this works on any editing program final cut pro premiere pro all of that davinci resolve you're gonna go into creative and then under look you're gonna hit browse and now as you guys can see we have one through 282 luts and then seven film luts so just to spice this footage up let's apply a random let let's go with 135 as you guys can see just like that it's a super crazy look to it spices it up right away and then we can mess with it a little bit more i'm gonna add some green to the footage here like i always do and then we could play with the shadows by turning them down and then turn the highlights up and then we could turn the blacks down too and maybe play with the saturation a little bit like so add a little bit of orange in there and boom as you guys can see that added so much more life to the video this is without the LUT and this is with the LUT and that's just a random one I randomly chose from the pack this doesn't just have to be applied to roses this can be applied to anything anything that you guys want in your video you can use this method in element 3d to add them now for everyone that doesn't have element 3d it is a pretty expensive program the last after effects beta that they released it actually had a way that you guys could import 3d objects into after effects i made a full video on that if you guys want to go check it out up here i'm just going to be briefly going over it in this video here so the files that you can add in the after effects beta are called glb files they're a certain type of 3d model that you guys can find on websites or if you have certain 3d models that aren't glb files you can convert them into glb files the main thing about glb files is though is that they already have the texture applied onto them unlike obj's fbx's we have to apply the texture onto them you're not going to have the freedom like we had to change the color of the rose to white or mess around with it you're honestly just going to be able to throw it in after effects like these solids here you just be dragging and dropping the object in here and then moving it around it looks good but you can't really mess with the lighting or play around or add any effects to it whatsoever so when we added the blur and lumetri color you can't do that so hopefully they update that going into the future so if you guys do want to download the after effects beta you can mess around with that but i do recommend using element 3d for now and then another way to add 3d objects to your videos is my editing packs i have a couple editing packs on 3d objects that are just drag and drop in your timeline we have a nature effects pack a lean effects pack and we have a 3d money vortex pack that I did in a collab with brian delimata that's on his website if you guys want to go check it out they are paid but they are super easy to use and high quality they all come in 4k 60 fps so you can scale them down scale them up a lot and make them slow-mo to match your footage as well i'm going to be releasing a bunch of other 3d packs in the future so make sure to stay tuned for that if you don't want to go ahead and learn the software yourself like i said these are just drag and drop onto your footage no green screening nothing they're already a transparent background if you guys didn't this video though make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more 3d tutorials just like this hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to cover i recommend checking out one of these two banging tutorials up here that will help you a lot on your editing journey go check out my website as well peace